Hi, how are ya? How's it going, huh? Okay. So now, uh, July 2017, I have lived in a in this Campbell village for one year. I moved here to this Campbell village, Camp Hill community of Hoganvik, Camp Hill, in the 1st of July 2016. So I lived here a little over one year. And I must say that the Camp Hill way of living really is growing on me. I'm really enjoying it thoroughly enjoying it and more and more thriving in this environment. Now if you know a thing or two about Campbell or anthroposophic anyways, you may know that there is you know, persons lot such as Rudolf Steiner or Karl Koenig or you know, Goethe and so on. Uh, that the anthroposophic way is sort of an alternative uh, to the old, what shall I say, Western biblical Roman Empire way of Western tradition. What this means to me, in my experience, is that it boils down to that if you look at the old Christian value mindset, monarchy, Roman tradition versus the um, anthroposophic society in Norway, for instance, being it of treatment or therapy or school or spiritual living, The thing that the the very the things that that sort of um, make a difference is in particular that anthroposophy has a wider range of interest. It it. Uh, embraces more topics. It includes more theories, you might say, theories that are of more that are more often rejected by uh, the common standard, you might say. For instance, the Lutheran or Catholic Church, you might say. Things like reincarnation, for instance. A typical example, you might say. Now, just pointing that out, like a vaguely, vague, vague picture, what I'm pointing out here to describe how the Camp Hill anthroposophic community has a wider range and embracing of the human experience than what is found in traditional psychiatry, Lutheran Catholic churches, these institutions we know and everything. So to me today, having been one year, one year old camp pillar, that's me, I'm a one year old camp pillar. What nurture, what I find as uh, the very um, most supportive thing about living in a Campbell village, there are many things. <laughs> there are many things I like about this. And compared to my old life, or compared to uh, anything, or literally, I like the physical work. Very often when I work, whatever I do, I do outside normally. I work uh, 
mowing the lawn or, or picking weeds or uh, picking vegetables, berries, fruits, working outside on the farm. And some of the things that, that, that I like the best is when I get really warmed up in my body. The physical experience of being warmed up and, and working up a real sweat. That is something I truly appreciate. To work up a good sweat and to feel that metabolism is really working. And I, become, and I drink a lot of water during the day. And the water here in southern Norway is very tasty and that's another thing, the water is very tasty, I see in, uh, in, very, in very many countries, in more and more places people are buying bottles of water to have water to drink. I mean how do we get out, end up with that? We have to buy water in the supermarket to drink. It's been that way for decades, many places, in the United States, in Spain, you know, How have we come to allow such a system? That's just a detail, a tiny, tiny, tiny detail of the total matrix, capitalistic, whatever system you call it. It is just insane. Simply beyond insane. Campbell is to me equally to quality. Quality. And to have good, nutritious, whole, ecological, organic food. And almost all food that is served here is organic. And there is very little poison to trace in the food that we eat. Which is a great benefit to my body. I can sense and experience that, hey, this food is just much more tasty, much more, what shall I say, nutritious, tasty, and feels better generally overall in the body. I like also the, it's been said sometimes that Camp Hill being in Norway, there are five or six Camp Hill villages in Norway. And it's been said as a joke, or as a remark, that the Camp Hills in Norway are the true communistic societies of Norway. And that is not very far from what might be a reality. Because we share, and it's very much a equally based economy and sharing and uh, you know last year about last year uh, we had uh, celebrated uh, Camp in Norway's 50 years anniversary it was then 50 years since the first camp started in 1966 in uh, Vida was um, over at the east side of Norway or southeast side of Norway, where Vida was um, was started. So, and yeah. The contact with nature is very, uh, try, very uh, supportive for me to be able to walk in the forest and give a tree a hug and just talk to the rocks and trees and everything. Just being in contact, communicative with nature. Also the ability to go and talk to a cat or a calf or a goat or a sheep and have some close and intimacy and talk to that being recognize that being and having that sort of therapy 
of contact with a pig or a cat or so on and so on. And I can warmly recommend living in Camp Hill for anybody who has that uh, need or preferences of, for instance, me, I have schizophrenia, so I, so I would, then this life has suited me. If you have perhaps Down syndrome or Asperger's or Tourette's or whatever, there are so much to, 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 to that one, you know, if, if you're like uh, on welfare system and if you're on the welfare system in Canada or in Sweden or Germany or wherever, and you're curious about uh, Camp Hill, check it out. Google it some and read some about it. I've written some blogs about it. I'll leave a link to my blogs. And um, Yeah, investigate it. Contact the camp and see if you can come for a visit. Try to make friends with the village near you. Uh, it's highly, highly recommendable and it's uh, it's a really a supportive good life uh, that I now have. I'm very much happy with it in both and the, uh, uh, what shall I say, both very physically and the work with the sweat, with the working body, working, doing something of purpose and also um, how it's structured in comparison to the overall other alternatives that are out there for me being uh, other types of care facilities and so on and so on with much more limited uh, content and uh, therapy. Here is everything practically. Here is this village. Um, I have I have everything and um, yeah I really enjoy it here. I can recommend it warmly from the, from, from the bottom of my heart. It's I've been given the opportunity to live here and work on my destiny process, to write the self-forgiveness and go into my into the depth of my mind and so on and so on, and understand myself. And it's and, and it's and the and the program that I participate in for my share in this camper village is suited so that I can walk my process and learn myself to know and work on mind constructs and so on and so on. At the same time that I work. Uh, as a gardener, mowing lawns and so on. So it's it's uh, really recommended if you have whatever psychiatry or m mental health or whatever uh, handicap to check out Campbell Village. It's a, I'm sure you would regret it. Become to become a become a friend with the near Campbell Village near you and and. Um, Check it out. What do you have to lose? So, this is me thanking you for listening and uh, check out the links uh, and enjoy.